Ah, uh, here we are again. Yes, yes, I know. I'm coming out of my funk, aren't I? Yeah, she was in a little funk for a while. Oh, but it, come on. It's the aging process. It's the winter to spring, too. It's well, the transition. Well, all right. But I also want you to know that now that I'm in my 80s, it's really a challenge. I want to mention that email I got from the woman. Yes, we're going to come out today, I think. Her comment was that we seem to promote non-marriage and non-monogamy. So promiscuity. Slutdom. Yes. Yeah, so and so, the reason we talk about that a lot is no one does. Yes, no one talks about that choice, and we we bring it up all the time because this is what we hear. All my questions, the women that are writing into me. So the point is, is that we are all about choice. Yes, both of us have been married. You got married. I got married when I was twenty years old. Twenty before I was even twenty-one. I was a junior in college. I fell head over heels, great sex, great everything, and we got married as kids and went you to married for love. I married for love. Uh, okay, we went let to me grad school. Now wait a minute, let me interrupt. Okay, I got married at the end of my twenties, twenty nine, just before you. Well, that was a big deal in your era because you were going to die oh, at thirty. I was going <laughs> to die an old maid, so I got married at twenty nine, and I married for financial security, and I had bailed out because of no sex. You bailed out because of his addiction issues, and I just, I, I always say this, I chose my life over his. I realized that if I went down that path, he was going to drag me down, and it's really hard to leave someone when you're still in love with them. Yes, and I wasn't really ever in love with my husband. I admired him, and I appreciated mm -hmm. his being my, basically my patron, because I was able to paint for five years around the clock, and I will always honor him for that. You but do a lot. You say that all the time. You honor Fred. I honor Fred. I yeah. honor Fred. Yeah, I honor him for the time that he allowed me. And we were actually uh, compatible roommates. Well, yeah, that's interesting when a relationship becomes that. Yeah. And sometimes that's an amazing, wonderful thing. And right now you are in a committed relationship. I'm in a committed relationship. You know, have the dog, the little house, the little apartment. It's like being married. It really is. And for the last 10 years I was with Eric, I was in a committed relationship. I had no desire to have sex with anyone else except myself. And now I am a single and I am in a committed relationship to myself. But of course, if the right particular man or a particular woman, a particular dog, oh, <laughs> did I say that? A particular <laughs> man or woman came along, I would welcome them into my life. Well, I think that's the trick. I always say keep your mind clear and your heart open. Well, and your clit informed and your clip primed <laughs> <laughs> you know what I love the most about our experience how it's so similar is that both of us enjoyed our kind of casual sex era when we were women in our 30s in our 30s with we... our own apartments our own money our own careers it's a yes. lot different than 20 yeah. so in our 20s when we were doing our sexual experimentation uh, I had three unwanted pregnancies using so birth, did I. birth control mm -hmm. and you were on birth control so we just want to remind you that in your 20s, you are the most fertile. fertile. Your body wants to get oh, pregnant. Boy. And don't, you know, make yourself feel guilty about anything no. in your life. No. You know, it's not time. It's not time. If you want to embrace that and be a teen mom or a 20-something mom, that's your choice, too. Another choice. So yeah. we repeat. Repeat, repeat, repeat. It's not about choosing one lifestyle. It's about choosing several and staying with the one that works most that works the best. And it will change throughout your life. Yes, it does. You know, I was committed in my 20s. Now I'm committed. Look, I'm going to be 38 next week. And now I'm in a committed relationship again. And then I had those great years of casual sex and fun Yay! and figuring out what I wanted and trying new yeah. things. Yeah. And so it's going to change throughout your life. You don't have to make a choice that's going to you're going to live with for 50 years and, you know it's and you can change. and you can make a choice that you're going to live with for 50 years yeah see it's, yeah it's it's yeah. so we stand corrected and we always keep an open mind thanks <laughs>